Hey, guess what, guys? We made it. We said, heck with technology. We're going to do it the old-fashioned way, and we're going to get together. So fortunately, we don't live too far apart. We just and drove 20 miles each to meet in the middle. Yeah, it, it worked. <laughs> we found this great place here that they're going to let us use for a little bit, and we get to still bring this value to to you. So, hey, so you guys know. So Gene, he, Gene... That I, and he allows me to call him Gene. Actually, he gets upset if I, yeah. if Kim and I don't call him that because we are friends. And it took a lot of training for them to break that doctor stuff. <laughs> it did. <laughs> what did you start calling Kim? Mrs. Hall. Mrs. Call Hall. Me Dr. Delush, I called yeah. her Mrs. Hall. Mrs. Hall. <laughs> it was like, that. that's not going to work. But, you know, you think about doctors and... And wouldn't it be nice to have someone in the family who's a doctor because you know you're going to get the best care, you know they're going to do the right thing, they're going to give you the best, best uh, advice because they care about you. Well, that's how we feel, Kim and I feel about you, because anytime we've ever come to you, we, we know that you're looking out for our best interests. And it's so obvious that you take that care for your patients as well. So we appreciate that. But so you guys know where this all started is I met Dr. Delusha being a physician for 40? This would be my 40th year. Yeah. 40 years. Yep. Imagine coming across something about eight years ago that actually changes how you care for your patients, that changes your practice. And and from what I understand, when we were talking, it wasn't something that con that it was like, oh, this is new and you start doing it. It's like, imagine 400 document documented uh documented results of patients all having results about what you're about to find out. So that's why we're excited to bring this to you because, hey, you, we should know about this. So I appreciate you, sure. you coming on and right. taking the time to do this and we're excited. So maybe just talk a little bit about yourself. Okay. Uh, well, I appreciate you inviting yeah. me after a little technical difficulties, <laughs> difficulties. Tonight, but oh well. So, it's any, a memory. Yeah, but we practiced it earlier, it worked fine. I don't know. I don't know. That's all right. Anyway, so yes, I was trained in Western medicine. Uh, I'm board certified in family medicine. Uh, we're taught in medical school, we're taught about um, diagnosing diseases, and we can treat two ways. We're taught if you can become a surgery, you can cut it out, uh, or you can give it pills. And you can treat the, the, the diseases with medications. And, and as I got older, my patients got older, and I discovered that. They got more and more diseases, and so did I. And I was passing out more and more pills. And I was putting Band-Aids on things, because we treat symptoms. We don't look for cures or causes, and we, and we don't really reverse the damage. At best, we can slow, the, slow that disease process down. I got very frustrated, and I started looking around. I, I, I'm a firm believer in the, uh, the law of attraction. I think if you put it out to the universe, you'll attract it, and it did. It was in the form of, uh, a video done by ABC News, and that was shown to me just under eight years ago. And it, it, it literally it opened my eyes because it was done uh, on a product that uh, was clinically proven to lower oxidative stress by an average of 40% in 30 days, and everyone tested. Well, I knew oxidative stress was damaging. That's aging at the cellular level, but it's also connected to every disease process. So when I talk to people now, my patients or, or friends or family, I tell them there are some things to do for optimal health. Okay, number one, obviously, what do you do to yourself? What do you put in your body? If you're a smoker, you're causing a tremendous amount of damage. Depends on what you eat. You know, the fuel in your body is the same as your fuel in your car. If you put good fuel in, it runs well. If you put bad fuel in, it runs poorly. So don't eat highly inflammatory foods, things like sugars and things like um, gluten, simple carbs like breads, pasta, cereals, all inflammatory to your body. Probably the worst thing you can put in after tobacco is sodas. Uh, Coca-Cola, the pH of Coca-Cola is 2.3. Your body's blood is 7.3. Your body has to fight really, really hard to rebalance that, and it's highly inflammatory. So it's not just the sugar you're getting, but it's also that acidity. That's why you can clean your car battery cave, <laughs> you know. <laughs> With Coke. <laughs> With Coca-Cola, you know. It does that to your body, by the way, too. So, so eat good, healthy foods. Eat foods that come from the ground. If you find something that's natural, uh, that doesn't have pesticides, it's good, okay? If you eat animals that eat food that comes from the ground, you're also doing well. So if you're gonna eat animal protein, eat, eat grass-fed and hormone-free and antibiotic-free. You don't need all those things in your, in your body. It's damaging. Uh, the same with your fish. Eat wild-caught fish because the, the farm-raised fish are low in omega-3. That's one of the things we tell our, our uh, 
patients all the time, we have a checklist. Omega-3 is one of them. It's an essential fatty acid. Our bodies need it. Your brains need it. Uh, you don't get it unless you live in uh, Norway or Sweden, enough cold water fish to get it. So you have to supplement that, a good, clean, pure supplement, because otherwise you're getting a lot of crap in it. So if your, your omega-3 tastes or smells fishy, it's not pure. That's something you've got to really be careful oh, of. I didn't know that. Yeah, absolutely. Really? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. And a lot of those things have heavy metals, and you got to be really careful what you take. The stuff you're buying on the short store shelves at Walmart and Sam's, I wouldn't be taking that one. So I actually did a test mm -hmm. the other day of the ones that we've been taking mm -hmm. and to see what it would taste like. Because honestly, I know it sounds a little gross, but I mean, fishy burps are not cool. I don't like that. And that's all the old stuff that I had. And then these other ones, I actually popped it in my mouth to see what happened. It actually tasted good. Yeah, absolutely not. And yeah. there's no fish in taste at all, yeah. or smell, or burping it up. <laughs> uh, another thing we recommend, everything is vitamin B3. Absolutely everybody. Because as we age, we don't manufacture it. And no, you do not get it from your milk. It's added. That's not natural in milk, even though the dairy industry like you to think that. So you do need to supplement with a good quality vitamin D3. Ample, ample. Uh, evidence and tons of studies showing that high levels of D are the most protective against disease. Uh, so that's another thing on our checklist, a good quality probiotic. Another thing on our checklist, uh, our, all our guts are bad now because of the pesticides in our food and our water, what we breathe in, the amount of antibiotics <laughs> that we've been given between the doctor and what's in your animals, you're getting a, a ton of antibiotics and they, they unbalance our gut. You've got to rebalance to be healthy because your gut is your immune system, your gut is your emotional system, you know, all those things that come start in your gut. We've discovered all those things. So you've got to eat, take a good quality probiotic. Most of those probiotics don't ever get past your stomach acid. They're killed out in your stomach, about 99% of them. They don't belong there. They belong down into your intestine. And the only way to do that is to protect that, uh, protect that probiotic with a, some sort of enteric coating. So you want to do that. Um, also, you you know you want to boost your immune system. Uh, we can do that also. There's other ways to to um, how do I want to put biohack our health. We can take shortcuts. We can do more than just put good nutrition in. Now, through through herbal products and, and synergistic blends, we can activate something called NRF2, NRF2 in our body. That's a protein messenger that sends signals to our genes to re-regulate them back to our youthful level. So we can start to protect our, our cells 24 hours a day, reduce that oxidative stress, that cellular damage, and reduce inflammation. When we do that, we, we can help people live longer, healthier lives. That's the idea. We can activate something called NRF1 or NRF1. That's a mitochondrial activator. So by doing that, we can start to, to protect the mitochondria. Those are the little, the little engines in our cells that manufacture all our, our, um, our energy. So we can repair those, we can encourage neogenesis where we can make new ones. When we do that, we can start to repair those cells. It's also linked directly to, to, uh, to lifespan and health span. So that's really what we're doing. We're looking for ways to, through natural products, nutrigenomics, not drugs. Drugs don't do that. In fact, if anything, they increase your oxidative stress and damage you more. Uh, so we're very, very try much trying to get people away from the drugs into natural products, eating healthy, exercise, we're made to move, we're just like any other animal. If we cage that animal up, they're not healthy. We're the same way. Get out and move every day. Walk. Park at the end of the, of the parking lot and walk. Take the stairs instead of the elevator. Those are things you can do every day to make yourself healthy. So which, which of those components you were talking about, NRF2, NRF1, uh, your gut with probiotic and omega-3, of those, which really was, what changed your practice how the, the you original thing i saw was the nrf2 that's that to me when i could lower oxidative stress that's cellular damage and aging and lower inflammation i, I started to see remarkable results. why is that a big deal because that's why we age at the, at the cellular level oxidative stress is is cellular damage cellular aging uh it, it leads to diseases so when i can reverse that or reduce that significantly i want to do it and so if i can do it naturally obviously that's what i want and I understand that that NRF2 you're talking about actually has been proven to extend life now. Absolutely. First natural Multiple, product. multiple, multiple published medical studies. It's, it's, it's exciting to be part of that. I call it 21st century medicine. What your doctor gives you with pills and drugs for your diseases, that's 20th century. I really predict that drugs will be a thing of the past in the next 
20 to 30 years. So I have to imagine if you're living longer, and here's the point, is if you're living longer, you're living healthier Absolutely. because you're able to live longer. And who doesn't want a better quality of life? Who doesn't want to live healthier, live at their optimum level? And that's really what we're talking about with combining all of these things, right? Absolutely. So and what's that, your... That's what we're doing. We're trying to <clears throat> look for ways to, to keep us healthier longer. Diseases are an option. It's what you do to yourself that causes that disease. So that's really what we're looking for. That we want to practice 21st century medicine. That's what we do. And then I understand too, and, and we'd mentioned this just a little bit, but the ability, the food we eat is important, as you said. Absolutely. But there's no way that you can eat enough food or the best kind of foods in order to, to do or have the same results that activating your own body system. No, because you're still aging. You're slowing the damage down, but you're not reversing it. We can actually, by activating our own genetic code module, modifying those things, we can actually reverse a lot of that now. Okay. It's exciting stuff. So let's say, I guess we'll leave it at this, that if the people on this, they're watching this video, if they were your parent, patients, what or my would parents, you, by the way. or parents, <laughs> yeah, there you go. They also, yeah. they also are doing quite well at 96 I see or 95 years old. Really? Yep. That's amazing. Yep. Yeah. Our family too. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. I it's love excellent. It. I love it. So. It's, it's amazing what this does. So, uh, let's say these were your parents. What would be your, your patients? What would you be your advice here? All of them. Leaving them. Get on a, 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 an NRF2 activator, an NRF1 activator, a good quality omega-3, a vitamin D3 a good quality probiotic that works. Those are the things I tell everybody for optimal health. Eat okay. healthy, get out and walk, get out and move, exercise daily. Those and are the things that will keep you healthy and living longer uh, without disease. That's what you want. So that's the key, guys. You just heard it. You heard it from a doctor of 40 years, uh, changed his practice, documented results. So here's the deal. If you, if you want to follow his uh, advice, which we suggest that, obviously, Get with the person who's sharing this with you. Whoever shared this video, we have a team of people that are sharing this video right now. If you have questions, we have a team that can get those questions answered for you. Um, I can tell you that the first five people that, that I've shared this with that are on my page, uh, if you private message me and you want to know more about this or get started on this, I'm actually going to give out uh, product, free product to the first five people that send me that private message that want to get this because it's that important to get this in. And I believe you're... I'll do the same thing. You do the same and, thing. And uh, I, I think what we can tell everybody is whoever invited you to this, thank them, get back with them. You can get more information. Uh, you can private message me. You can private message Travis. And we'll give you information, more information yeah. also. So. I don't know who all is going to give out free product. That's up to them. I'm yeah. not sure who has it. <laughs> But so. hey, that's what we've got going on. So thank you very much Travis, for putting thank this. thank you for having me. And I wanted to thank the young lady behind yeah, this. Uh, thanks for, for giving us your room. Oh, thank Appreciate you. that. <laughs> hey, and I'm sure you guys found this valuable. And thank you. Stay tuned. We'll be having more stuff like this. <laughs> thank you, Travis. You guys have a great night.